Last year, an ultra-contemporary mansion in La Jolla, California was sold for a whopping $20.8 million, and once the buyers were revealed, it was none other than powerhouse couple Alicia Keys and her producer hubby Swizz Beats. This mansion is also dubbed the Razor House and even appeared on TV, so it's kind of famous. And this place is far from the only real estate that the couple owns. Today, we'll see Alicia and Swizz's properties, including this estate, their other mansion in New Jersey, and more. We even found some of the listings. Alicia Cook, known to us all as Alicia Keys, is a singer-songwriter and classically trained pianist who began composing songs at the young age of 12. With her talent, it's no surprise that Columbia Records signed her when she was only 15. After re-signing to another label, Alicia released her debut album, which was super successful, and included her first hit song, Fallen. This album alone earned her a whopping 5 Grammys in 2002. Since then, Alicia only continued with her success in the music business, adding more hit records and awards to her resume over the years for a total of 15 Grammys and numerous other awards. Aside from her music career, Alicia is acclaimed for her work as a humanitarian and she's also the mother of two. Her husband, on the other hand, Kasim Dean, better known as Swizz Beats, is a hip hop recording artist, record producer, DJ, and entrepreneur. He's produced many hit singles for famous artists across genres and has a career spanning two decades. He's considered one of the greatest hip hop producers of all time, and he, Alicia, and their two children seem to be living quite comfortably. At the time of this recording, Alicia's net worth is estimated at $150 million, while Swizz holds a $100 to $150 million net worth of his own. It's no wonder the pair can afford some of the most expensive and outrageous mansions around. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. You guys request this one, so we'll be taking a look at where award-winning musician Alicia Keys and her man Swizz Beats call home, including the famous Razor House mansion they bought in San Diego, their New Jersey estate, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Kelly Rowland and other famous couples like Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me over on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. In 2012, a Soho penthouse Alicia and Swizz bought from Lenny Kravitz two years prior hit the market. And let me tell you, it was fit for a rock star. The couple bought the 16 room pad for 14.5 million and when it came time to sell, listed it for over 17 million. The building was located on Crosby Street in the heart of Soho, one of the trendiest New York City neighborhoods you can live in, being a top shopping destination full of fashionable crowds and designer boutiques. Not to mention the palatial pad had been rented out to the likes of Nicole Kidman and even Denzel Washington. Washington in the past, so it was definitely a celeb proof. It was considered one of the premier apartments in all of Soho according to the realtor, and I can see why. Alicia and Swiss's previous place was massive spanning over 6,000 square feet inside with an additional 3,000 square feet of enchanting terraces. You enter the luxe apartment through a keyed elevator to either floor and the sun-filled loft has 5 beds, 4 baths, 4 powder rooms and towering ceilings. Not to mention there's floor to ceiling windows letting in a ton of light. The enormous eating kitchen had a walk-in butler's pantry and a ton of light as well, with a separate formal dining room encased in a glass solarium. That might just be the nicest dining room I've ever seen. There is also an expansive living room with marble fireplace, library and media room, wine cellar, and state-of-the-art sound system throughout. Near the Ducati motorcycle and some other artwork, you'll find the floating staircase leading to the upper level. The separate private master suite Alicia and Swiss previously occupied had a spa-style ensuite and you walk through a large dressing area and a private terrace to get here. The main terrace wrapped around the perimeter of the penthouse, offering views of the New York City skyline and more. There are plenty of spaces to lounge lounge whether outside on the patio or even inside the games room with pool table. Of course, the lavish penthouse was decked out with the best security systems too, just to be safe. Although the musical couple were living the empire state of mind here, they decided to move into a more suburban choice. Which brings us to the New Jersey mansion. Around 2012, the power couple bought this celeb pedigreed 32 room mega mansion from none other than Eddie Murphy. Located in Englewood, New Jersey, they opted for a more suburban vibe than in the heart of New York City. 
Englewood is a charming and inclusive town with its own downtown center, yet only 10 miles from Times Square. Although Alicia and Swiss had a ton of space in that penthouse, wait till you see the size of this spot. They bought the property, which sits on 5.42 acres of land from Mr. Murphy in two separate transactions, totaling 12.1 million according to property records. The larger parcel was 3.91 acres with the massive main residence, and it cost them over 10.4 million, while the smaller 1.51 acres with secondary house went for 1.6 mil. The red brick Georgian style home is set behind massive gates and fitted with high tech security system as you'd expect and measures in at a massive 25,000 square feet. There are 8 beds, 10 full baths, and 4 half baths throughout. Comparing listing photos from time of purchase to the more recent pics, it appears Alicia and Swiss brought in designers who carried out a similar design to the former New York penthouse. Think moody fabrics, flashy chandeliers, and portrait type artwork. The entrance opens up to smooth white marble and looks super fresh. The couple's contemporary art collection also starts here. Before walking in, there's a guardhouse at the main gates and a sweeping driveway with roomy motor core. There's another motorcycle parked in here similar to the last place, so I guess it's a design feature they like. The formal living room has plenty of seating space and two sparkling chandeliers, while the dining room has two black fixtures hanging above the long table. I personally love the vibe in this room. There's also another hangout room or den slash library with fireplace and mounted TV, as well as an eat-in kitchen with massive island and even space to run around if one chooses. French doors lead to an all-glass winter garden dining space or sunroom, also fitted with a gorgeous chandelier. Moving upstairs, there are multiple bedrooms, including one with sloped ceilings and a cozy vibe. The master suite Alicia and Swiss shared here is super sized, including a sitting room furnished for seven or more people. But I don't know why you'd want that crowd hanging out in your bedroom. There's also a fireplace here, lavish bathroom, and walk-in closets or dressing rooms. Other amenities at the sprawling New Jersey property include two elevators, one for each the north and south wings, a movie theater, two-lane bowling alley, professional-grade recording studio, perfect for Swiss and Alicia, and a dramatic art gallery wing that was newly added, complete with soaring ceilings. Not to mention there was a glass roofed indoor swimming pool which is great for year round use, a tennis court, 5 car garage, an additional carriage house with full gym. Despite loving this home for a few years, Alicia and Swiss put it on the market a few years ago for over 14 million, but I'm not sure if the place is sold yet. Now for the main attraction, Alicia and Swiss's current mega mansion in San Diego. Razor House was named after Razor Point, fitting for a property that pays homage to a cinematic landscape where cliffs meet the ocean. Located in La Jolla, a quiet neighborhood about 20 minutes from San Diego, the Razor House is considered a modern local landmark, previously being featured on TV commercials, including one for Visa Black Card. Last year, it was revealed the secret buyers of the ultra contemporary mega mansion were power couple Alicia and Swiss. And they paid, oh, you know, just a whopping 20.8 mil for the place. Built in 2007 and designed by noted architect Wallace E. Cunningham for original owner Don Cooksey, the striking estate clings to the edge of a cliff, appearing to hang right above the ocean. In reality, the 0.77 acre hillside lot is modestly sized and super steep. In the past, it was written off by several developers. In 2011, the estate transferred for 14 mil in a bankruptcy sale to Florida-based entrepreneur Donald Burns, who added finishing touches and maintained this Iron Man-looking house throughout the eight years he lived here. Alicia and Swiss enjoy a multi-level main structure here spanning a massive 10,653 square feet and includes luxuries like a home theater, gym, library, an all-glass elevator, and a kitchen with top-of-the-line appliances. There are a total of six beds, eight baths, and of course some extra square footage in the guest house elsewhere on the property. White concrete, stainless steel, and glass are used in the cantilever design of the modern mega mansion, and as you might expect, Alicia and Swiss get amazing panoramic views of the ocean and surroundings. There's also a circular living room and other spaces to hang out and take in the views. Not to mention this spacious master suite looks like it's floating from being enclosed in glass, even in the attached bath. In fact, nearly every wall in their home is glass, while the floors are mostly stone. Outside, there are endless concrete terraces, one space with a fire pit, and elsewhere a rooftop entertaining space with outdoor kitchen and spa. An extra long infinity pool hangs over the cliff's edge, giving quite the experience and photo op. The property first listed 
listed in 2018 for 30 million, so for just over 20 mil, I guess Alicia and Swizz got a deal on the mega mansion. So I think I'll wrap up this house tour here. We've gotten a look at where Alicia Keys and her hubby Swizz Beats call home, like the jaw dropping glass mansion they live in California, their New Jersey estate, and more. After seeing all those huge properties, what did you think? Which was your fave? As much as I love the amazing views and being right on the ocean, the Razor House is a bit too modern for my taste. If I had a choice, which I don't because I can't afford any, I would pick the house in Edgewood. Be sure to let me know your choice down in the comments. I also recently launched a personal channel so if you want to get to know me better, watch my latest vid and subscribe because I appreciate all the support. Thanks for tuning in, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!